everyone, it's Coach Stephanie. I have your gym tip of the week. Today I'm gonna to be going over getting more flexible hamstrings. I'm gonna be teaching you some new stretches that you may not have done in your classes, but I'm also gonna be going over some tips to help the stretches that you are doing as well. So if you wanna get more bendy, keep watching this video. Before you start stretching, I really recommend that you do like three to five minutes of cardio just so your body is all warmed up before we start stretching. So we're going to begin with something a little bit simple, feet apart, legs straight, your hands reach for the floor, and you want to let your head hang heavy, kind of wiggle it around side to side, up and down, chin to chest, and then walk your hands over to one side, and to keep breathing in all of these stretches. And then we'll walk our hands to the other side. Again, bringing your chin to your chest to see you're feeling that stretch in your neck and your spine. From there, we're gonna go on our hands and toes in a push-up position and then push back into a downward facing dog and start by kind of pedaling it out with your feet. You will feel this stretch in your shoulders, lower back, hamstrings, calves, Achilles. It's a great full body stretch. Next, we're just gonna hold this position, pushing through your hands, lifting your hips up high to the sky, and taking some nice deep breaths in through your nose and out through your mouth. After that, we're gonna walk our feet up to a standing pike stretch, and you can start with your knees slightly bent, thinking about having your ribs touch the top of your thighs, and letting your head hang heavy. And then we're gonna squat down just to kind of release the tension in your hamstrings and then push back up, this time with straighter legs. Keep breathing in and out. And then we're gonna do a halfway lift so you can either put your hands on your shins, on your thighs, whatever feels comfortable, making your back nice and flat like a tabletop. And then you're gonna fold forward again. You can repeat those steps as many times as you like. Moving on to our pike stretch, I'm gonna show you first what most people are doing. My back is hunched over and I'm kinda just making my nose go towards my knees. Instead, I wanna sit up tall first and think about hinging at the hips and pulling your ribs towards your knees and pulling your nose past your knees. We're gonna do the same thing but with our feet flexed. So pull your toes back and again, thinking about hinging at the hips, elongating the spine, bringing the ribs towards your knees and your nose past your knees. <laughs> All right, then for the next stretch, this one prepares you for your splits. Put one leg out leg is straight again you might normally hear your coach say put your nose on your knee but this is kind of making my back a little hunched so we're gonna sit up a little bit reach our hands past our toes elongate the spine and you can see my nose is reaching over my knee this is really gonna help your hamstrings get super flexible and once again we're gonna pull up the front foot adding an extra stretch to the calf Go ahead and repeat the same thing on the other leg. I hope you guys learned something new from this video and it's helping you get more flexible so your gymnastics will be a lot easier. We'll see you in the next gym tip. Bye!